All right, y'all. This is going to be a restringing your guitar video. If you'd like to learn how to restring your guitar, this video is for you to be watching. All right. Now you see, I got a I got a wooden table in front of me, and I got a bunch of cloths. I have a really soft cloth. I have kind of a rough cloth, and then I have an, an intermediately soft cloth. And then over here, I have a terry cloth. Um, really, you just need like this is a microfiber and a, and a terry cloth, and that'll be good. All right. So what I got here. I got this little Planet Waves stand. Alright, this thing is supporting your neck so you don't lay your guitar flat on the table. You don't lay your guitar flat on the table, it doesn't lay flat and the table can scratch up your guitar. This will also just give you some support so you can work against it. So we'll go ahead and put this thing down. Alright, you don't want your guitar to lay on the table, like on either end. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put down this, this cloth over here to support the body. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put the guitar up here. I'm going to be restringing my 7 string for today. Alright, fretboard and everything. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start taking the strings off. I have a Planet Waves winder. It also has a clipper on the end of it, so it will clip your strings. Alright, now I got all those out of there. Let's go ahead and get them out of the body. Bring the body over here. Alright, I'm working on a string through body right here. See my strings go through the body, as the name would state. I'm going to get my clipper over here. I'm going to go ahead and clip these strings off of here. Usually clip them about right here. Usually do them all at once. That doesn't always work. Alright, now take your strings, line them up, throw them away. Now, some of you don't have the, uh, the Tone Pros locking bridge, some of you have the Les Paul bridge, which will be like this and then have a stop piece. Go ahead and take those off of there. If, it, if it's uh, locked onto there like mine is, don't worry about it. All right, I'm gonna push my strings through. All right, we're gonna throw these away too. I'm gonna throw them on the ground for now. All right, now we're gonna give your guitar a quick dust off. Go ahead and get your microfiber cloth or soft cloth. Your guitar wipe down. This is your opportunity to go ahead and completely clean your guitar. Alright? I'm just giving it a nice, simple wipe down. Um, those of you who are afraid of adjusting your action or messing up your action, just don't worry about it. You can take off this bar. I'm also going to wipe off my headstock up here. Alright. I'm going to bring my headstock over here. All right, here's some little important things you want to do when you get a new guitar, or if you haven't done this before. Go ahead and get a little screwdriver with a flat um, Phillips head. You have a little Seymour Duncan one right here. You got these little screws on the side of your tuners there. And you got them on the back of your tuners too to attach them to the body, these little ones. And then you have this nut on the top. I'm going to go ahead and tighten all of those. You want to more than finger tight this, but don't squeeze it on there because this is what's keeping your, your tuner from wobbling around. If you have wobbly tuners, if you have like loose tuners, you just tighten these screws up, make sure they're all tight. I'm sure all mine are. You want to hold the tuner and screw it on there. I'm going to get a socket wrench to do these. Next what we're going to do is we're going to clean off our fretboard. Some of you may have never cleaned your fretboard. <laughs> well, you might want to. These things get pretty nasty. You can see mine has a little bit of nasty crap on it. All right, see all that stuff? It's not supposed to be on there. It's supposed to be jet black, ebony. So I have here, so I have some fretboard juice. I'm going to put this all down the fretboard. Nice little stream of it, all right? Now I'm going to get my uh, nasty cloth over here. You can see that I polish my guitars with this. It's, it's pretty dirty, you know? It's, it's pretty dirty. Now what we're going to do is I'm, I'm holding this nice and tight, but uh, I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to wipe the whole fretboard down, giving it a lot of pressure. Don't be afraid to push down on this, just support it with your hand, alright? So my first fret is going to be like this, alright, gently right now, and I'm just going to push down on them as hard as I can. Don't forget to get up in the cracks right next to the fret, because that's where your junk's going to accumulate. Now you can see how nice and clean that first fret is. See nothing on it. 
go ahead and do the rest of them real quick. All right, fretboard's nice and clean now. So let's get to the goods. Go ahead and restring. Got my variety of strings out here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the good areas. Give you a nice selection, right? All right. Go ahead and unpack the D'Addario's and get them strung. Pretty easy to restring. Um, I have a string through, so obviously we're going to go through the back, pop them through, reverse direction, I mean reverse order, go ahead and push them through. Might take some effort. All right? Take your time. All right, at this point, if you have your bridge off, go ahead and put it back on with your little screws too. Um, rotate the screws out a little bit though. I'm going to raise your bridge up a little too high, all right? Too high. I'm saying do. Do raise it too high, because uh, then you can always lower it. It's easier to lower it than it is to raise it up after you've strung it up. So let's go ahead and string it up, all right? Now I got a special little technique I use, and I'm gonna go ahead and show it to all of you. Uh, first, first few strings, they're they're low. They can hold their own. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate my my tuners to where the holes are facing this way. All right, done. Let's go ahead and string them up. Not too much, not too loose, not too tight though. And I'm just gonna put a little bend in there. Go ahead and tighten this up. I'm just gonna tighten it up enough to where we got a little bit of tension. Not like in pitch or anything. There we got some decent tension. Now I'm gonna get my little Planet Wave clippers out. Go ahead and clip this crap off. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you my little technique for stringing up the high strings. I usually don't do it with the low ones because they don't really have, have a tendency to flop out when you're tuning them up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in from the inside of the headstock to out. That's why I put my uh, string holes that way. Go ahead and put it through. All right. I'm going to put a bend in it right here. See, there's a little bend right here. So it hooks right there. I'm going to do the same thing and bring it around that way. So now there's a bend going this way, and then a bend going back that way. I'm going to bring it back around under the string. All right, then we're going to go back over. I'm going to, I bend it back this way. All right, so now it's not going to come out as you're tightening it up. We're going to do this for the next few. All right, let's go ahead and tune her up. Cool, now that we're all restrung, let's go ahead and bend our strings out, all right? You're restrung, you're in tune, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my hands, and I'm gonna come down to this end of the fretboard and just kinda pull outward a little bit. Come down to this end, pull outward a little bit. I'm gonna do this on each string. And for those of you who took off your bridge earlier and that you have it all jacked up right now, since your bridge is up and not down from the correct position, all you got to do is take a flathead screwdriver, and you're going to come in here, and you're just going to tighten it down until your action is correct. So you just give it maybe a, a, a half a turn or a turn, and then you just put it back in tune, and then you try it out, you know, give it a few strums, and then um, try again. Once you get too low with your bridge, what your options are is you can, you can raise it back up, but the thing is you have to tune back down. You're going to have to tune your strings down just a little bit to allow your bridge to raise back up without breaking your strings. All right. Now that your strings are back on and you're, you're all good to go, let's take some of this DR string cleaner. It's some polymer coating stuff. All you do is it's got a little felt applicator on the tip of it, and I'm just going to hold it upside down and rub it across my strings. So I'm going to apply them end to end. All right, all good. That's how you restring your guitar. I hope you enjoy playing on it now. Next step, Floyd Rose, if you're ready.